everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload your HTML email designs from Figma to the Brevo email marketing platform using the Emailify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file and click on the little resources icon up here. And if you just search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and click on the plugins tab, then click on the Emailify result that pops up, and then you'll be able to run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon here and clicking on save. And that's just gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas. I'm just gonna right click anywhere and go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on emailify. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically allows you to design HTML emails in Figma and then export those to production ready code directly from the plugin. So you basically just add a new frame and then you'll be able to start populating that frame with a bunch of preset components, which you can then customize and tweak the content and styles of uh, according to what your brand is or what kind of content you need uh, to include. So I'm not gonna be going through a detailed tutorial on that today. If you're interested in how to actually design the emails, uh, there's a bunch of other tutorials on the YouTube channel that you can check out first. Today, I'm really just gonna be focusing on uploading uh, some HTML emails that you've already designed in Emailify and getting those into the Brevo platform using the Brevo API. So to do that, we can basically just uh, finalize our email. So I'm just gonna add a little footer down here and then we can get started to upload this to Brevo using the Emailify option for that platform. So we can basically click on the export HTML button in the plugin and instead of the HTML email option, which is default, uh, we're gonna open that up. And instead of going to download to our computer, we're gonna go down to the platform integrations, find the Brevo option. Uh, in brackets, it says send in blue. They recently rebranded from send in blue to Brevo. So we're gonna click on the Brevo option. And then we've got a couple of new options down here. So we basically need to get our API key from Brevo and our sender email as well. So if you click on these two links, it's gonna open up some browser tabs with uh, the account pages of where to find those details. So as long as you're logged into your Brevo account, uh, clicking on the API keys link will take you to this page. And then you basically wanna click on the generate a new API key button. So in this case, I'm just gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Emailify plugin and just hit generate. So that's gonna create a brand new Brevo API key for us. And we only get to copy this once, so make sure you copy that to your clipboard by clicking on this little copy icon here and then pasting it in the Figma plugin API key field here. So I'm just pasting that in there. And you might wanna save that somewhere uh, as well because you won't be able to copy it again if you need to reuse it. Uh, but once you've done that, you can just close that off by clicking OK. And then the other tab that it's gonna open is the senders tab. So the senders tab is basically where you've got your approved email addresses to send emails from. So in this case, I'm just gonna use my uh, sender that I've got in the account and also paste that into the sender input field here. And once you've done that, you're basically ready to go. So now that we've got those two details in there, all we need to do is select the emails that we want. I've only got one uh, in this case. So you can give it a subject line. So I'm just gonna call it uh, test subject and you can give it some pre-header text as well if you want to do that. So we can add some pre-header text. And then once you're ready to go, you can just click on the upload to Brevo button here. And that's basically gonna start exporting the production ready HTML. It's gonna upload any images and then it's gonna upload that entire template to your Brevo templates automatically. So in a second, once it finishes, uh, we can see that it's saying that our Brevo templates have been uploaded. And if we go to our Brevo marketing templates page uh, after logging in, we'll be able to see them. So if we click on that link, it's gonna open up this templates page here. So I'm just gonna refresh that because I already had it open. And now that we're refreshing the Brevo templates list, you can see here that we've got our example template. So example is coming from the frame name. So our Figma frame is called example that we named it before in Emailify. And so the email template itself is also getting uh, the example name. So what we can do is we can click on that now and if we open up that template, uh, we should see a little preview. So you can see here that our HTML that we exported from Figma is uh, showing up as we'd expect. All of this is rich text, uh, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we can see the mobile view. So this is the responsive version. Uh, again, I didn't go through how to customize the 
mobile design in Emailify, but by default, it kind of uh, works itself out anyway. You can add other overrides if you need to. Again, if you go one, go to one of the other video tutorials, uh, that's gonna be a really good way of learning how to do that. But this is a really quick way of seeing what our template looks like in Brevo after we've uploaded it from Emailify. So the other thing that we can do is now assign this to a marketing campaign. So for example, if we go to the campaigns page in Brevo and open that up. So I've got this draft campaign down here, which doesn't yet have a design associated to it. So what I can do is I can basically click on that test campaign, jump into the edit page. And if I go down to the design step down here, I can click on this little three dots icon and go to reset design. Just gonna click yes, I'm gonna confirm that. I'm gonna get rid of whatever design was there. Then I'm gonna click on start designing. So this is what will usually come up the first time you create the campaign. So just click on start designing, go to my templates, and then go down to the template that you wanna use. So in this case, I'm just gonna click use template on the example template that we just uploaded. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna select that template as my campaign template. So the cool thing about that is we can then preview that. So if you wanna click on preview and test, you can click on that and that will allow you to send a test email to your own email address or a recipient on your mailing list. So you'll have a mailing list that you've selected and you can basically select a recipient and send them a test. And that can be really helpful as well if you wanna see what the dynamic content looks like. If you've added any dynamic tags, like a hello tag um, that populates someone's first name, you'll be able to see what that looks like when you send out a test as well. So um, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. That's the quickest way to get your email from Figma into the Brevo uh, platform. If you're using that to send out your HTML emails, uh, this is gonna be a really quick way of uploading your templates directly from Figma into Brevo. So I'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to keep that really quick uh, to show you what that new integration looks like. If you're a Brevo user, hopefully that helps you and your team's workflow. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.